It's 1919, and so-called moderates are the majority in the National Assembly, holding 77% of seats. The Social Democrats have worked with the Democrats and the Centre Party to create the Weimar Republic, so perhaps this is unsurprising. However, there are also far-left and right-wing parties who don't support the Republic. To understand what's going on, it might help to take a look at who the parties in the Weimar Republic even are. 1919, the parties of the Weimar Republic. Germany, throughout the course of the Republic, has a range of parties from far left to far right. The main party on the far left are the Communist Party, which is shortened to KPD. It might be useful to note that the abbreviations we use are abbreviations of the German names for the parties, which is why they might not seem to make sense. So KPD is in fact short for Kommunistische Partei Deutschlands, which in English means German Communist Party. There are, however, also moderate left parties, such as the Social Democrats, the SPD, and the Democrats, the DDP. In the centre there is, shockingly, the Centre Party, or ZP. You should note that they are actually more centre-right than dead centre. The main moderate right party is the People's Party, the DVP, and then the two main right-wing extremist parties are the DNVP, the National Party, and the Nazi Party, the NSDAP, who technically at this point in 1919 haven't been formed yet, but it's not long before they are. Left-wing parties tend to be supported more by workers, centre parties by the middle classes, and right-wing parties by upper classes, as a general trend, although this is certainly not a hard and fast rule. Both the far left and right oppose the existence of the Weimar Republic, although for different reasons. The extreme right want a return to a strong government, where the government has more power to control people, with a strong army and headed up by a powerful leader like the Kaiser. They are pro-capitalism, capitalism being an economic system where people are allowed to privately own the things, such as farms and factories, you need to make the things people need in order to live, and to profit off owning these things. It's a bit complicated, but one thing it means is that profit is a driving economic motive. They also push traditional values such as nuclear families and law and order. In 1919, the main far-right party is the DNVP. On the other hand, the radical left want Germany to be controlled by the people, not some government who has just decided themselves that they are in charge. They oppose capitalism, thinking people shouldn't be able to profit off other people's fundamental needs, and want workers to collectively own the businesses they work for. They are internationalists who value cooperation between countries over individual national independence. In 1919, the main radical left party is the KPD. 1919, the parties of the Weimar Republic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell all your friends. If you're wondering where I go between videos, then you can follow me on Twitter for proof that I am still alive. You can also find a link to my Patreon on screen and in the description if you want to help fund me making videos. Bye!